Good morning, this is the December 8th meeting of the Reuse Committee of the City of Northampton. Uh, and we are going to start, good morning David, by uh, any comments about the minutes from November 17th meeting. I have copies of the minutes, does anyone need one? I saw them, but I'll Good morning. Good morning. Anyone else? I'll take another one. Oops, thanks. How many staplers do you have? Um, there's another stapler up there. Okay. Can we get somebody else David, to staple? Can you grab that stapler? Roger's going to staple. Stapler. Thank you, Roger. Sure. To work. You can't staple until you go over the minutes. Okay. Well, I've already gone over. Do you um, want to make a motion then to approve it? Any comments? Blocking concerns? Do I have a motion to approve the November 17th minutes as written? Motion to approve. Second. Second? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Right. Excellent. Right. Okay, recenter report. Uh, Mac, is that you? Uh, can you start, Mac, and then I can. Yeah. Uh, okay. Recenter is in uh, pretty much in dormancy at this point. Uh, we made a, I made a final uh, downsizing by bringing some stuff to the uh, Goodwill because the Salvation Army didn't show up. Um, we went out there yesterday and got uh, a bunch of stuff for the toy exchange. So the space is pretty well cleared out now for the winter. Um, and there still is a, you know, there's still, it was raining a bit yesterday and there's still some, a bit of leaking going on, but I couldn't find anything that had been damaged by it, so that's the good news. And that's all I can think of right now. Okay. Uh, anybody else, Susan? Yeah, so I have a report. The roofer um, had his foreman go out and look at the roof. He says that they, um, that it appears that there are some cracked panels. Um, the metal panels, there's some cracks. So he said it's, you know, going to require some work. He said, this was two weeks ago, uh, he said that it wasn't going to happen this week. He wanted it to work, to, to get uh, dealt with sooner rather than later. So um, to my knowledge, they haven't had anyone out there since. He wants to get paid. So, um, you know, I, I, I think barring weather challenges, um, they're going to try to do the work. I have some concerns because if we, if, if they do work and it doesn't rain anymore because it's snowing now, and then in the spring we find that there's still a problem, you know, what recourse we have. So I'm, I'm going to um, talk to David Pomeranz about that. And at some point, if it continues to be a headache, David Pomerantz um, offered to just take over the, the negotiation, you know, the deal. Mm -hmm. um, but but I didn't want to go there yet because this, the fellow has been very responsive and he came very highly recommended from self head of DPW. Um, and I don't, you know, he wants he wants more work in the future from the city if he can get it. So I don't think there's any kind of, sh you know. Mm, underhanded stuff going on. I think the assumption was that that was going to take care of it. Uh, Peter, one second. Susan, I'd rather you cut or talk, but okay. not do both at the same time. Okay. <laughs> uh, Peter? Um, it's going to be really hard to fix that roof at this point. We're going into a cold snap. So I don't know what alternative there is other than maybe holding for the pay half of it or something. Yeah, well, but, you know, because we we won't really know if it's worked. And <coughs> having worked on roofs that just uh, impossible to <laughs> find all the sources. So anyway, <coughs> if, if there's a way of making sure that they will guarantee it, come the weather when we can fix it. Yep. That's important. Okay. Yep. Anything so, else about uh, the recenter? Yes. So, um, volunteers and leaders, I just wanted to, I did a little analysis of, um, a little bit, um, of what happened, what happened this summer with our uh, 
lead positions out there and we had 30 Saturdays over a period of seven months. Our original goal was to make it have enough leaders so that people only had to do it once a month. And we kind of met that goal. For the most part, except for one person, nobody worked more than seven weekends. Um, however, that one person, yes, yeah, so, so Mac worked 10 weekends mm -hmm. as a lead, lead person. So um, that's something that we need to address, especially in light of Alan not being around next summer. So that, that's something that's on the, uh, the priority list to talk about. Um, we, um, I was in touch with the mayor's office. I told them that we would be interested this year in having uh, somebody from the work off program. I thought that uh, a volunteer who was essentially getting paid by the city to be there um, would be more dependable and, and would show up at 8 o'clock like we need them to and, and it would be a useful thing. The mayor's office was overjoyed. Mm. Um, and my, I, I just spoke with Donna the other day too and she was really pleased. So we will have at least one person that can work out there on Saturdays. It's possible that we could have a second person and the program is for retirees and veterans. And my thinking is that if we can get a volunteer who's also very handy and is a, maybe has a repair background or is connected to the repair community in Northampton, that not only could they be a, a, a volunteer at the recenter or on Wednesdays, but they could also help repair some things and help us get the repair cafe off the ground by connecting us to people in the community that they know. So I'm really excited about that aspect. So we're probably looking at two work off people. Um, they have to work a total, a minimum, like, well, I think uh, 91 hours is the official, official rule. So if you divide that over 30 weekends, that's about three hours a week. Um, so, um, yeah. So, th so that's being pursued. I just wanted to let you all know about that. And then the other thing I wanted to let you know is that we did a, um, we talked about, where'd it go, um, potential projects and kind of our wish list of what to do out there, and we prioritized them um, Tuesday. And uh, the most important thing we all agreed was getting volunteers trained and well, recruited and trained. Is that everybody? And they'll say one yeah. more. One more. We're sharing. Um, and then, Why am I? And then the sec uh, the, another <laughs> key thing was getting the lighting and annex and obviously the roof. Um, and getting that developed, and then publicity and outreach was an, another general category that we thought was very important. Other things are important, um, but those were like the critical ones that we identified, and this discussion is ongoing. So um, I just wanted to share with you what had happened. Thank you. Oh, that would be nice. Can we do that? That Thanks, honey. So, so that's it for the recenter. Um, okay. Um, who from here plans on uh, being a supervisor next summer? Mac, I assume that you will be. Yeah. I certainly will be. Uh, Alan, will you, before or after Maine, will you have weekends that you think you might want to do that? Okay, great. Uh, my summer next summer should be much quieter, so. You train me, I'll do it. Okay, great. That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you prefer not to. I. You I prefer don't to be a sub. No, I will like once a month. Okay. Well, there you go. Great. Um, also, Ro the other day talked about how she w might like to split some sessions with you because uh -huh. we okay. know you have to go later in the morning. So okay. if you did the early shift, yeah. she would do the later shift. Yeah. Great. Well, that's that's yeah. a pretty good core yeah. right there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, Visioning session. Yes. So um, Peter and I were talking, and 
he thought that it would be a good idea to create a, a list of things that we could, uh, a list of projects or, I'm sorry, a list of things that we would like to have done by someone, whether it's somebody on the committee or somebody outside of the committee with special skills, etc. So um, we just wanted to spend a few minutes brainstorming about different tasks that we could use help with. Now? Or right now. Or okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. So I, I Peter, keep do you want to, he has, he, has a, he has a couple <coughs> things on his list, so do you want to share what you All right, Peter, you want to go first? Um, <laughs> well, well. For instance, we know that we need a social media person, yes. someone that can handle posting things that are at the recenter, that are available. You know, this coming Saturday, maybe photos taken during the week for the coming Saturday. Um, that's a person we could really make use of. You've spoken about needing interns in the past. Um, in order to do research on all the stuff that we should be up on. Um, you know probably more, Susan, than me because you're following with the Merck, et cetera. But I, mean, I, I, I don't know what happens to plastics now that they're not going to China. You know, what's happening to them? Can we get some folks onto that? Um, I think using the schools at this point is going to be really useful. I don't know how many people will show up from the Kiwanis Club. But um, if we can get that working to get volunteers who could do, and then it's also something we can give them a um, certificate of recognition or certificate of commendation, and we can't pay people, but we can give them something that then also... Um, Let's is stick to the wish list of what we want. Yeah. Well, so research volunteers people. to do research. research. That's first and foremost. Okay. We talked about the other day, Peter, was the email list. Um, Social media, Susan. Social media, it is, but it's being able to um, send out information, infomercials to about the recenter yeah. and other projects that we're doing yeah. uh, on a timely basis. Wait, say so, that again, sorry? I mean, being able to send out our own infomercials about what's going on at the recenter or other events that we're sponsoring. And, and so that's communication from social media no, or the publicity? No, it's the or? same, but you had called okay. the email okay. the other day. And I was uh -huh. yeah. okay. Some, somebody who can do the, the tech work, uh -huh. which takes time. I, I guess you're right. I'm so fo I'm focused on the toy exchange so much. I haven't at this. You know, that, that's my main concern that we have a good e experience. Uh, well, I'm we can postpone this conversation until after the toy yeah. exchange, until the January meeting. That's fine. Yeah, yeah Roger. Uh, it would be great to have someone who's good at uh, video production to make our little infomercials. Yeah, put them on Facebook. Get them on the local channels. And I also think, you know, you were talking about next moving thing repair cafes and Roger's interested, but he's got a full time job and can't do it <laughs> also. So we, we need to recruit people that are, might be interested in working on focusing on re repair concepts. So so that we could have, have sort of regular workshops, right? Yeah. Once a month. I'd love to expand our collaboration with outlets with people who need free stuff. Um, yeah, how did, how did I phrase it here? I phrased it outreach, outreach to other reuse. So, or social um, service with end users? End yeah. users, yeah. yeah. Outreach to end users. Reinforcing the circle. So, <coughs> part of, part of, um, yeah. This is, we don't necessarily, these are wishes that we have. How they're filled is can still be open to sure. discussion. We assume that you know volunteer is the way to go. Maybe it's not. So um, because my position is being discussed. What, what's the objective of our visioning session? Just to come up with this list. The objective of the visioning session. Well, so the re center people met uh, in the spring. The spring. Um, and Maria had facilitated a session talking about what people's hopes were for the recenter, and I think that we need to continue that. Well, we need to just continue that discussion, but I think that the whole committee needs to be involved. And <clears throat> so the visioning session is 
figuring out, take, picking up, taking a look at what was discussed last spring, picking up from there, and talking about what hopes we have for a three and five year plan for the committee and or the recent. And what oh, I this is like not the visioning session. You're talking about it. No, this is not the visioning session. Okay. Yeah. No, what I would like to do is, if you guys know anyone who has some great facilitation skills, I think that we should have somebody that is not affiliated with the committee help facilitate that, uh, um, okay. that session. Okay, I have a couple of people in mind. Right. Is that just like a one-time deal? It would be a one-time deal, pro preferably pro bono. Um, okay, so then, let, uh, yes, Roger. Uh, we're gonna move on. Yeah, I think we're doing a good job considering where we start from, but it'd be really great to get more uh, community education about how we use things. And really, community I mean, just, education. Yeah, yeah, rather than just take it from where we are to where mm -hmm. we want to go, let's start with where we want to go. And are you talking to add this to the wish list? Or yeah. are we talking about the visioning session? Well, that's the wish They're list. Connected. They're connected. Okay. They're connected. Um, so, you're, uh, say that again. You said what? Uh, uh, Increasing awareness of, of how to read public education. Public education. There you go. Okay, Peter. Toy exchange plan. Yep. You're on. Everything seems seems pretty set. I think I had a good meeting with Tim yesterday, but that the wrestling won't happen after four yeah, o'clock. I thought I thought I told you that. After okay. four. That was, we didn't okay. know exactly when, okay. but now four o'clock seems to be. Um, Mac and I dropped off the <laughs> shitload of trays and boxes that I've been picking up daily from Big Y over the last couple of weeks. Um, the idea is to use the trays to sort into right away and then to use them even on the tables so that everything is um, collapsible at the end more easily instead of volunteers taking individual except the big toys but otherwise they can set it down. There'll be a free pre-sorting the stuff. Saturday morning we'll have a small corner over in the, from the entrance we're taking in on Friday night and then the people can line up at the other door by the stage so there's not conflict there which we had before. Other than that, other than the yogurt containers, I'm going to get a new list. A new Wait, say that again? You want the people delivering toys to be in one? At end? the very, uh, yeah, at the uh -huh. Rest and most end. Uh -huh. We'll use that for the take-in on Friday, uh -huh. right? and mm -hmm. a small section of that for Saturday morning. Where probably and that was your idea, Diana. We just we won't be able to really sort much of anything. It just goes on Saturday. Off, yeah, it just goes off to the side, right. and then volunteers can gradually get to it as mm -hmm. as things slow down a bit. Um, so you all know the. None of the advertising said that we were accepting toys on Saturday. Good. I had a few people call me and ask, and I explained to them that we were doing it this year only for a small number of people, and that next year it was not going to happen. So everyone is, is, I was very clear about that. So I don't. I saw a poster up that must have been old that had Saturday in it. Oh, it was probably old. Yeah. Yeah. So it's possible yeah. that people yeah. will still come. Right. And probably stopping at about 10 of 9 and just saying, that, you know, we're going to close any other intake for the next half hour. Because once we, and you, and you will make your announcement to the volunteers at that point, et cetera. So we'll, we'll tell people, leave it in your car, come back in a half hour. You know, you can, because they won't be able to get into a toy exchange then, right? If they don't drop off, they won't get tickets, right. which is there. I don't know how else to do it. Anybody else any ideas? Well, we, I mean, we kept taking last time. It just was crazy. Yeah, it was, it was too much and they were coming in the same door. Right. That's, that's what I want to avoid. So that right. people coming in are not blocked with people still trying to bring in right. garbage bags. Uh, you stuff. know, my suggestion was to have intake on Saturday be in a totally different room. If people want to drop stuff off, you know, come in the side entrance, Peter. Mm -hmm. If you have someone stationed over there whose whole job was just to take toys in on Saturday morning, then it doesn't even have to be a part of the uh, commotion of the main room. Um, where would you suggest? Because we won't have the back of the stage area. That's going to be the raffle. So, so you have the two-door entrances into right. the cafeteria? 
But if you walk around to the left, there's a side door into the building. If you yeah. station someone there, in the one person in the hall, that just did intake, and then someone else could come take the stuff from the intake person and bring it in, assuming there is stuff, then you don't have any any uh, overlap between. Wait, so I'm confused. Let me see. But the hallways where the farmers market is. That's where I was. Oh, yeah, the yeah. farmers market is there. Yeah. Okay. No, that doesn't so work. So this there. is door one. This is door two. Yeah. And then these are the doors into the hallway. Well, there's so there's, 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 there's one on the left there's also. Parking lot here. Right. From the outside. There's one on the left, the Susan. On the left. On the left. Into over here. Nope. Yeah. On the left. The other left. From the out over here. Yeah. No. Right well, no. It's there. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. It's yes. By the, if by that's the, the yeah. Did? If that's right. the uh, just the cafeteria that you're showing, yes. Right. So here, there's an extra door. There's actually yeah. The, the yeah, but this door. is not a door for public access. No. But that's usually so. So access. you're saying that this this will be toy acceptance, and this but will here be. But here, it's all the way to the end. So yeah, I'm, so the line would start back here and go around as opposed to. This is. But that. you're saying this is toy intake on Saturday yes. morning, and this is. Entrance. In entrance. Yes. Um, well, okay. Well, why, why don't we switch them? Why don't we make this entrance? Because then they and this toy they're, intake. They're, because they're lining up here and they're crossing over the line. Well, it's nice to be able to have this long stretch for 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 people to congregate. Right. You know, but they'll just go around the building. I mean, the sidewalk. But there isn't this. There isn't a sidewalk around the building. Yes, there is. Yeah, there is. No. Does it go all the way around the building? I mean, there are actually classrooms and stuff to the other yeah. edge of the uh -huh. beyond the. Across the, the little driveway there. The east driveway. Yeah, no. Well, we could put some cones okay. here, and they could just the line can continue. It's supposed to be 25 degrees on Saturday morning. Yes. So I'm not thinking people want to be outside for too long. No. Well. Yeah. But. Uh, well, that was so that there's yeah, not Yeah, I mean, we can confusion. work out the details yeah. later, but I, I think it's a good idea to have the two different doors, you guys. Yes. I think it's a great idea. I think the, <clears throat> the one thing to just be prepared for is there, despite our publicity, there could be a lot of toys coming out in the morning, and part of the challenge was just physically having a place to put them, yeah. you know, and so if you have an adjacent area that you can just put the stuff that hasn't been stored and all the workers can come and take it, um, where, where would you suggest? Um, well, like if, if under the current. Um, well, we had a place last year. We, we had a roped off area. Yeah. yeah. yeah against so, against so the like, kitchen. Like this this area we roped off. Yes. Yeah. 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 So that's and we needed a lot of space. I mean, yeah. I, yeah right. I just I think you know, I mean, we could potentially need a lot of space uh, if people bring in loads and loads and loads. Well, we actually used the kitchen last time so yeah. that area expanded into the kitchen but then it was manageable because by 9 30 10 o'clock things had slowed down enough to, um, for volunteers to start putting that stuff out as well yeah do you think there's any way to recruit people bringing stuff in to sort things out well on friday yeah that's no, I'm the whole on saturday well, most of them are anxious to get in line you know, yeah because okay. yeah. they want to get the crack it i don't know how else to do it but that. Any other suggestions? Right. Do we have so VIP tickets? Do, I mean, besides these, for people who donated, they get to be first in line. No. <laughs> like a golden ticket or something. Um, Peter, yeah. the only thing I would say is that on Friday night last year, we needed more intake people. Yes. We had yeah. three. It would be great to have five. Or six. Yeah. It, uh, because we we're, we're trying to get people to um, bring stuff Friday, so we need to be start gearing up for that being the only day. Okay, here's a, yeah, that, that's a good point. When they're coming in on Friday, um, the, some tables probably here, maybe some boxes in the, in the middle to take so that they will be responsible for unloading bags or big boxes full of stuff into trays and then bringing it to an intake site, uh, to, to an intake table which might be in here. But um, a couple of volunteers to help people unpack the stuff. Not not that they're sorting it, but the people are sorting it, but the volunteers can sort of help them guide them. So I put two volunteers right there, or three, um, and then it, it, you can get away with just the two people because it's all pre sorted. You know two or three people for the intake itself. Kind of a production line. The, 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 problem, the problem is that 
it's not just a matter of intake, right? It's right. a matter of determining, okay, this stuff uh, is just in a bag, that's not good enough. We need it right. all sorted, and, and it takes time to deal with people as they're bringing things in. And that's why it's so important to have more than just the. Well, that's why the two are separate in my mind. So people coming in, they're going wherever the there's some long tables here, maybe here, and I haven't got that quite figured out yet. And they will, and some helpers, some volunteers will, you know, say we need this all sorted. If there's a sign, so much the better. But then they can help just get the stuff out into the box. They can already. Have some, no, we can't take, I know we can't take this, you know, so mm -hmm. then it comes to the main table and it's in deliverable trays. So at that point you can see everything, it shouldn't, yeah, go ahead. The trays, once they're sorted and filled, are the trays to go to the tables? The trays can go to the tables, they can be consolidated with other things that are already in the trays, so that it, because there's only so much room on the table for the drink pick up the last space. Well, so I have an idea. I'm going to interject here. I think that we should have a station. Last year we had a nice Santa workshop that I'm hoping that we can recreate. And, and Alan and Peter, are you? Are you uh, that was a some basic kind of tools for repair, maybe cleaning, etc. Mm -hmm. I'd also like to have adjacent to that a kind of packaging area where I'm going to have some bags and tape, uh, painter's tape, etc. So I'd like to have one or two volunteers with small items making sure that they're together and kept kept uh, together. So with puzzle boxes, taking the painter's tape or a rubber band and closing it and stuff like that. It won't take long because most things are big, but for those small things that it comes in sets, yeah, I think it would be useful just to, to organize that way. There's another thing along those lines, which is a, a stickies, little stickies, so that when uh, people bring in, say, a game or um, a puzzle, you ask them, is it complete? And either a check mark for what they tell us, yes, complete, or if they're not sure, a question mark on that sticky. I don't know how much extra time that takes, but just as a... That won't take extra time, but that's fine. Yeah. So as long as we have some little stickies, just... And that would be one of the things at the intake table itself. Yeah, kind of I think if anybody has clear plastic bags, too, those always come in handy when you get a, a bunch of toys some. that go together. If we have them, though, you know, that we oh, don't you have mean to buy to new reuse. ones. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. What time does it yeah. start tomorrow? What time do you want volunteers there? Well, four okay. is hopefully when. Uh, so four to five, the, the key. I mean, if other volunteers come at okay. five, that's fine. Then, but. Okay. For setting up the tables, for setting up the, the room for, for right. the We're saying, <coughs> I think the, 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 the posters say five to eight. So mm -hmm. I would say if this group, those who are coming on Friday, can be there no later than 4.30, preferably earlier, that would be great. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Sunday, or uh, Saturday, how early do you want volunteers there? Well, a quarter of eight to key people, 7.45, and then eight to um, the sh Mac, when's your shift? When do you start? On Saturday? Yeah. Uh, no, Friday. Well, I think that the, the sign up genius had, um, there were some people that were signing up for like a couple hours at the beginning and yeah. other people a couple hours at the end. Right. So I think I signed up for six to eight. Great. Okay. I, I copied you and signed up seven to nine. Because yeah, I, I, I think you did seven to nine. Let me just put a comment in. Good. He tells me I, that I'll 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 I didn't. I didn't. Uh, four oh, six so, uh, in six there. eight is yeah. fine, but yeah. I, I don't think I can be there at four. So I yeah. signed up for the second yeah. part. Yeah. There's, there's really not. If I recall, there's hardly much of anybody comes in after seven usually. I mean, right. There's still small. usually a lot of stuff to start. Oh yeah. 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 There's plenty to do. Well, and just clean up and ordinary, you know, getting the cleaning and repairing. Raffle. The raffle. No I think one of the one of the challenges <laughs> of the intake. I think the sorting is a great idea, but but also you get a lot of people that just have the idea they're going to come in and drop something and walk out. You know. Well, they're not going to be able to. That's what the two. Of it. I mean, yeah. so whoever uh, Jessica, does that. Remember, Jessica was our bulldog kind of. That people couldn't yeah. leave with something <laughs> filled out, right. and and for somebody to watch as they come in to to yes over here with this stuff, right. lay it out, get it sorted, and then bring it over. Well, they don't get these. 
until they until, until they, they get they there. Yeah, yeah. So, some people just drop off and they don't they don't come back. Right. Uh, I'll be there uh, close to four, Peter. Excellent. Excellent. Do you have a cleaning kit? Well, uh, Peter in the past stuff. has brought rags and cleaning, well, more, yeah. you know, cleaning spray bottles okay. kind of stuff. And and I think Alan brought some tools, didn't you? Yeah. Last time. Blue. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Blue. 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 Yeah. To, to a lot of it, I mean, I remember, Diana, you worked on some kiddie pool or something that came in filthy, dirty. Yeah, I mean, you worked on that for so long. Um, did it go? I don't recall. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't recall either. I think we took a bath on that one. But I think a little more, um, a, a little stricter <laughs> is the word. Um, determination of what we can get rid of and so if it comes in really dirty and crappy yeah and, we, don't need to take it. We, we don't need it. you know we've got enough stuff I'd rather see that go straight into bulk plastic or um, because the time spent could be better spent right. should we emphasize clean put them in big letters. yes no that's in the end clean clean, clean big clean. letters gently I have new posters mm -hmm. that I've had printed on coral plast plastic that are going to be big that we can post um, in our sandwich board and then have inside the room that say thank you very much <coughs> we can't accept everything and um, so I think that'll help clarify things. And use a recenter model would you give this to your to your friend? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right so I can't think of much else unless anybody has some questions or some ideas. Or I need to talk. Uh, can we meet yes. later this afternoon? Oh, no. no. I can't. I've got to do preliminary signs or something. Yeah. Uh, can we talk tonight? Yeah. Or tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning is too late. For I haven't looked at my Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, new business. New business. I have something. Does anyone else have something? Tell us, Susan. A friend of mine um, is involved still with the Amherst Recycling and Refuse Management Committee, and there is an organization called Clean Energy Future Massachusetts. Um, no, it's a working group for pollution, carbon pollution fee and rebate. It's Climate Action Now. They are sending a letter to Governor Baker. Um, and I have copies, I should just uh, send, send these copies around. Um, they are looking for an endorsement. And she was supposed to give me a list of all the organizations who've endorsed this, but um, which she didn't send. So I don't know. Uh, it's, this is not <laughs> something directly related to our function, however, it's an environmental issue, and I said that I would bring it to the committee to see if that's something that the committee would feel comfortable. What did you need it for? Unfortunately, the Mr. 16th, Bay? I think. Yes, <coughs> um, Susan, I just have a question about, can we do that as a city committee without going through a city process? Well, we can decide whether we would like to endorse it. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. This has never come up before. I don't uh, that's know. what I'm asking. I don't yeah. know if we, even if we decide to, can we, can we do that? I don't know. But, but it doesn't, um, I, don't, I don't see why not in some respects. I mean, I, certainly the Recycling and Refuse Management Committee has endorsed things in Amherst. Um, I think if it's controversial, that's, but something like this is something that a lot of people support and it's not like it's, you know, it's not like it's going to be a, a huge controversial thing. They're, they're just looking for more organizations to show Baker that it's supported. It's the carbon credits, yeah, I think, right, that mm -hmm. we're talking primarily. Mm -hmm. It's a big issue and it's a complicated issue, so I don't know that we have the time or the inclination to wade through it, but I wanted to present it to you guys. Well, Roger? I would just say as a committee, we certainly have the, uh, can certainly say we, we urge the city 
to adopt this, mm -hmm. you know, promote it. Mm -hmm. yeah. but, want to keep it non -conference. But we need to read this and understand it and make sure that sure. we support it first. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that I don't know that we have time to do that. Okay. I don't know enough about the full carbon credits thing, which is kind right. of controversial anyway. Yep. And, uh, yep. Yep. Well, I agree. Well, no, we can't do it by. It's December a lot to 15th. digest in ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. And we can't so. do it by December fifteenth. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't. Okay. So oh. I, ju I just thought I would put it out there, and I put it out there, and okay. it's going to keep moving. You did your part. <laughs> I did my part. All Any right. Other? Next I meeting have, date. Yes, I have a question. Well, I, someone asked me about, there was a some kind of email or something going around asking for Northampton residents to give suggestions about how to reduce disposable plastic bottle use and I had no idea about it and I wondered if anybody else it seemed like something might have come across our radar but I, I hadn't uh, heard I haven't seen anything about that. Okay. There's something uh, about becoming a blue community or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, the mayor sent me something to read and look at and just this week and I asked if it could wait until after the tour exchange and they said yes. So okay. I, I will find out more about it. Blue community, I guess that's it's a Canadian up. concept, okay. Evidently, um, and somebody is proposing that Northampton is to reduce the number of disposable uh, number plastic two. bottles, yeah. Being used. Yeah. but there were some other, other, yeah, I didn't read it. That, that was that was one of the outcomes, but okay. I don't know what, um, yeah, I just kind of quickly glanced at it. Okay, we can supply reusable bottles, I'll yes. tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's part of that public education thing. Mm getting people to uh -huh. put, a, put a water bottle in their car so they don't have to buy bottled water, things like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have but having filling stations too and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, the co-op has a, a water station. Well, my solution long term <coughs> is to chip those things up, melt them, and then spray them on all the bridges where it's rust. And if you've ever melted one of those plastic bottles on the, stop, on the top of your cook stove. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't come off. Uh, next meeting date. Do we have one already? The next meeting date uh, would be Or do we have to do the next January. couple? We, we talked about doing two or three at a time. It would be January um, I have down January here January 12th, 12th. we've already decided on that. Okay. So why don't we there. figure out the one after that? That would be February 9th. January 12th. 9th. Now, I, I, I need to know. look at um, vacation, school vacations, uh, university vacations. So I can't guarantee February because I know there's one in February, but I think it's later. It than probably would be the 12th. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, but that's for school. I'm talking oh. university. Well, you could just, it, just to avoid any possible conflict, you could just do it the first week of February. Yeah. Which would be the 9th. So that's actually yeah. the second week of February, but it won't in interfere with school vacation. A college uh -huh. vacation? February? Nope. Don't they get a winter March. Break? March. Mm -hmm. they okay. just, oh, they okay. Just start okay. No problem then. No mm -hmm. problem. They just so start February 1st. So <laughs> should we say Thursday the 9th of February? Yep. Got it. Yep. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. All right. Excellent. Um, a motion to adjourn? Oh. Second. All right. Aye. 914, nice job, Dan.